Hi, welcome to the Motion Picture Notion. Uh, recently, my brother, uh, Colton Riggs, sent me, uh, it was sort of like an advertisement, a little mini advertisement for uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead Season 3, and he's, like, standing in between the jaws of this big, like, fanged skull monster thing coming up from the ground, pointing his gun down with his chainsaw up in the air, and I'm like, oh, dude, that looks awesome! I'm like, holy crap, is that the fucking thing from, um, uh, what's it called, Ash vs., or, er, not Ash vs., um... Is that the thing from fucking Evil Dead 2? Like at the end, the big skull thing that comes through the door? My brother's like, yep. And I'm like, holy crap. So it, it kind of got me inspired to start watching the show again. Um, I had watched the pilot, I want to say like about a year ago, and I was like, holy crap. Like, man, they really, like, they hit the nail on the head with this. This is like the perfect sequel to the Evil Dead movies. It's like, you know, I mean, I know that Sam Raimi and Robert Tapert and uh, Ivan Raimi and all them, they're, they're like all involved with this show, but... I mean, usually after, cause Ash vs. the Evil Dead started in 2015. That's fucking 23 years after Army of Darkness. You know, that's insane. 23 years later, and it's like Bruce Campbell never left the, but he never disappoints as Ash. And like, you know, just like the absurdity of the things that happen, like the, the gore, the really fun gore. And like the fact that you can watch every episode and, and laugh probably more than you're scared. You know, it's just like everything that the evil dead trilogy was just perfectly nailed in every episode. Some of like Ash's lines, you know, cause I did start rewatching it again. Um, you know, like where he says like, you know, I'll, I'll be polite until I'm rude. You know, it's it's just like it's so ash. They nailed it. It's ridiculous. Um, and even my uh, my wife, who's not terribly into you know horror films, like really scary ones, even though I make her watch them all the time, um, she fucking loves this show. She's actually been like really enthused about watching it. And I, I, as a fan of the original trilogy, they throughout season one, I still have to watch season two, but throughout season one, man, they've been hitting the fucking nail on the head. Every single episode. It's been great. It's been great. So I know that, uh, you know, this new season, season three, is going to start up um, at some point in February. So I want to make sure that I'm, like, all caught up before then. But I just wanted to put my, like, two cents in for uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead season one. And holy crap, man. If you're a fan of, like, the original Evil Dead movies, you're going to fucking love this. If you haven't watched it already, you need to get on that because it's fucking great. Um... As far as television goes, uh, I recently, I was reading today that they are actually planning on going ahead with a Dark Tower series based on book four, uh, Wizard in Glass, which is essentially like a prequel and it's supposed to be all about like Roland's origins and shit like that. And it's really, uh, it's actually my second favorite book next to the third one in the entire series. So because it really fleshes out, I mean, first of all, like the fantasy aspect of the books and also just like, you know, Roland's character as a whole, you like really sort of understand a little bit more why he's as detached as he is, you know, um, and obsessed with finding the Dark Tower. But uh, at any rate, I had heard that they were planning on essentially having this be like a complete remake, and it has it bears no similarities to the movie. Um, frankly, even if it did, in certain regards, it wouldn't really matter because it would be about Roland's, you know, like the begin the beginning story of Roland. So it might it it has the potential to be better. Um, I know very, very, very little about it, <laughs> frankly. Um, I mean, I, I do kind of hope it happens and I hope that they do it right. I, cause they like announced that they were going to kind of steer clear of the movie a little bit. And that's probably a good idea. And if you ever want to do a Dark Tower movie in the future, that's also probably a good idea because people will get like the real gist of what the story is supposed to be about. Um, that being said, I'm not sure if, like, Akiva Goldsmith is still attached to this. He's the producer of the movie, and he's a dick. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. I don't know if he's a producer, or if he is the producer. I don't know if he's, like, thinking to himself, hey, maybe we'll do it right this time. Maybe we'll, like, actually follow the book, and fans will like it, and from there we can build something. Then, okay. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Not a lot of hope there. But, um... 
So yeah, that's uh, two TV shows, Ass, ver- the ass? ass versus the Evil Dead, <laughs> and uh, fucking uh, the hopeful uh, Dark Tower series to be coming out. All right, guys, I'll uh, catch you next episode. Have a good day. Later.